Okay, I'm back. I'm still in the old town. It's so funny. Um, I haven't yet started to go up, but I just I thought you would really want to see this part of Ljubljana because it's it's beautiful. It is the old town. It's that one street of the old town we were mentioning before. I'm so happy if you're back. Um, I see not anybody joined us yet, so I'm just a bit talking to myself. But it's such a pity because this part of Ljubljana is really nice and old. I hope now that I heard Daria told me that the, the direction of the video was wrong. Um, is it okay now? Um, whoever's watching now, can you just confirm if, if it's straight or if I'm again like, like this? I don't want to be like this. I don't want you to hurt your, your back to follow um, my walk. So is, is it okay this time? Mm -hmm. Let me just show you around a bit in the meantime before others join us. This is the entrance into a gallery. It's called Skut Galleria. I love it. It's like this contemporary art, private, small gallery. <laughs> Look at this window. It shows you also the facade on the other side uh, of the street. And then we have the old town street. Look at this beauty. Isn't it nice? I just love it. I wish we had like 10,000 more of these streets. It's so beautiful. It looks good. Thanks, Nino. Thank you very much. I turned around the camera again, so it's working now. I hope. Um, now that's more of the old town. It doesn't really look as old as it actually is. It's because of the renovations um, that took place so many times. As I mentioned before, anyway, I think it's all of you watching again from before. So um, you've heard me saying this. This is not a guided tour. Okay, it's just a walk. Uh, it is to show you around. Um, I will be doing guided tours a bit later on um, they'll be with different topics which I adore it's from souvenir stories to special places look at this entrance I love this house um, so you'll, you'll be able to see a lot of Ljubljana through my eyes I am after all a guide and I should know this town a bit um, after all these years um, but now I really wanted you to see the atmosphere to experience a bit of this um, old town streets as well to the right hand side you know always when we have flags it means the building is an official one and this one is the academy of music i just adore it sometimes it's saturday today but sometimes we can hear music and students rehearsing inside i like this little alley there leading towards the riverside it's getting a bit chilly in ljubljana now so i'm turning up towards the Gorni Turk, which is called Gorni because it starts climbing up the hill toward the castle. I will be doing the walk. In the meantime, we can chat a bit. Um, I wanted you to see those facades here. Oh, you can hear my voice. <laughs> it's coming just in ahead of us. Um, the wind is coming down there from down there, so it's a bit freezing. But what I like in this part of Ljubljana is this quietness. We're still in the city center, but it's always so quiet. Even now without uh, Corona lockdown, I love this hotel, look. Lisa Rangele, it's one of those old houses that's still preserved from the medieval times. This is the oldest part of Ljubljana, which we can still visit. There are older parts, but they're underground because they build the city over it. And this one here is still here. It's like 12th century probably, it's the old town, all those houses. They have a, a very peculiar thing still, only these one, two, three, four, five, four only actually, four houses, they still have the medieval gap between them. I'm not gonna tell you why, should I tell you? No, I'll tell you on a tour. But this gap, you see, it's like half a meter or so in between the houses. So they're actually not connected. It's each house standing on its own. Um, and it's interesting. Look at this old house. This would have probably been like 800 years old. Renovated later. Ljubljana had a few, 60, big earthquakes. The last one was just before the New Year's. It was amazing. Um, but in the past, there were two massive ones. 
one that took place about a hundred years ago, and the other one, which happened in 1511. Oh, I'm already guiding, but it's just, you know, it makes so much sense to, to tell all these things, because otherwise, how would you know, right? Okay, so um, after this 1511, so many things changed. And even after that um, earthquake, they renovated the castle walls. So there's a lot of the things that are lost from before this first big earthquake. And unfortunately, we'll probably never see them again. But anyway, things stay. And the bases, the backyards, the, the basements even, or some of the walls, they stay. And they are still with us today. So now, oh, look at me. I'm so cold. It's so easy to make me feel cold, you know. Usually in this time of the year, I would have been in Cuba, guiding groups. Um, enjoying a tropical um, beach, a Caribbean, but now Ljubljana is also okay. I'm joking, Ljubljana is perfect. Um, anyway, I'm just about to warm up my knees, up and down a bit, because mm, the hill awaits me. Um, I really want to show you how steep it is, that's why I took you and already um, came into the life, because I, I want you to really see this one, look. I love this church, St. Florian. If you have problems with fires, you want to come to pray to him because he's the guy who will protect you from any fire you can imagine. And then up there, this is the road that leads toward where Nino lives. I'm not gonna visit Nino, sorry Nino, today. Uh, we have a mission to reach the top and the castle. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start walking up this hill, I'm sure in about 10 minutes time, ah, I feel so warm. But until then, we'll see some of the old houses again. Um, you know, it's so strange, ever since 2006, when the mayor finally convinced uh, the people of Ljubljana that we actually need a cable car, um, until that time, there was no problem of walking up the hill. Everybody was doing it, you know, if you wanted to reach the castle, you just had to walk. But then in 2006, they invested quite a lot of money. And with that money, they built the cable car, which is now a very elegant way for all of us who hate walking to reach the castle. But then you miss all this. I don't mean the cars, just let's ignore the cars there. But I mean, I mean this, you know, quiet atmosphere, people walking, plus there's another thing with walking uphill. And that's why I think Slovenians love it so much, is the fact that you connect to the environment and the nature much better when you're walking than when you're just observing from a bus or a car. There's kids playing here. We're turning right. Oh, look at this one. Ljubljana Castle. Yeah. That's where we're headed to. And the street. Oh, I can show you the map. We guys, we love maps. Look, green. Green is the color of Ljubljana. We are the green capital after all. And green it is. And we are right here somewhere. Look, you even have Instagram spots. I have to use them. Look, one, two, three. Excellent. It's the places where we can take pictures from. We're gonna go up here. Let me see. This way, probably up there. And we should see the view over down to Ljubljana there from this very side of the castle. It has a backyard and has the fortification walls from both sides, all of the sides. It is quite an impressive structure, you see. If we ever make it to the top. I know, I'm complaining too much, but I'm Slovenian, what else can I do? You know, Slovenians, we just like walking, complaining, we like jogging, we love marathons. We also like drinking wine. Some people like beer. I see Martin joined us. Hello, Martin. I'm sure he likes beer more than wine. We also have Mariami. It's nice to see you guys from Georgia. Oh my God. Is it so cold in Georgia also this time? Oh, let me show myself to all the newlycomers. Hi. Oh, I need to change my hairstyle. There. Oh, it's nice to see you now that I'm still not all... Um, you know, warmed up yet. But I started the walk um, and I hope uh, to catch some of the good light 
above Ljubljana. Oh, look, look what I found for you. Huh? I love this church. You know, in Slovenia, it's all about churches. It is a very European city. This is the old town. Um, means that all the culture is in the churches. Whatever. Hi, Miriami. Mariami, right? Yeah, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So the church is where the culture was. It's where the money was and it's about who we are also. Nowadays not so much anymore, but in the past so much more than, than now. Look, I just love this small view. Hope you can see it, the ugly buildings there. But you can see the mountains, you'll see them from the top also. Those aren't really yet the mountains, mountains, which I call the mountains, I call the Alps, the highest ones in the north of the country. But, oh, there are hills. How about you guys? Do you like walking uphill? Oh, do you like oh, mountains? Look, we're getting quite far. You will say hi from the window. <laughs> okay. We'll count on that. We'll stay alive until we reach Nino's house, which is behind the corner. And imagine that this woman, Nino, my friend from Georgia, who lives in Slovenia, she lives here and she has to climb up this same very hill every day, at least once, if she wants to go grocery shopping. Oh my God, she must be fit. She's also a photographer, so she really does need to be fit. It's a very physical job. There's one house there that I love. Wanted to show you this entrance, look. It's fantastic. And if I'm not mistaken, the other day I saw them renovating the house. You know, I like peeking through the windows. Let's see. Oh no, nothing there. No, no. Oh, it's just me. Hi. <laughs> but I saw that they renovated this place and I think they're gonna rent it out. So if you ever come to Ljubljana, and if you like hills, you might want to stay here. Um, oh, we're getting far. Look, you can see the castle up there. It's amazing, one part of it. You know, yes, winter is not such a beautiful place, right? A beautiful time to visit any place. Uh, people adore spring. To come to Ljubljana also in the fall time is a marvelous thing. September, even October. Um, and the springtime, March, April, maybe, well, no, May definitely. June depends, can be already warm, but it's still nice. July and August, well, unless it's a corona time. It's usually quite interesting to come. Lovely, warm, uh, summery feeling. But what I mean is that uh, winter time gives us all this. Look at behind me. It gives us trees that have no leaves. With this, it gives us also so many other views, I'm trying to show you this one, that we can't usually see. Like, you can see the castle from here now, but usually you would not be able to see it um, in the springtime, which would um, really put all the leaves up onto these trees. Okay, I take you the nice way this way, just so we can also see Nino if she's still there on the window. And this is also the way that Ljubljana people love to take to go to the castle. Um, even if, you know, we have very little time, it only takes 15 minutes of a normal walk to reach the castle hill and you have a view. Plus, you had some fresh air uh, and in this time of the year, fresh air is of utmost importance, they tell us, and fresh air is really nice anyway. So, oh, I don't think I'm going to be taking you all the way up. Um, from here on, it's a really nice park. Wow, look at this dog. I love this dog. Look, it's so big. Mm. No idea how the, the breed is called. But uh, you can see people now. Nobody's wearing masks. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to go and keep walking. 10 more minutes with this um, with this speed uh, and then I'm gonna <laughs> switch on again the live um, when I'm up and uh, show you the view of Ljubljana. In the meantime, you know, stay warm, make yourself a cup of tea, 
or finish up the tea you've already started before, put on a warm blanket, sit in a sofa and just enjoy this beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon. A special day, the 30th of January. For me, it's a nice day. I'll see you soon.